Hi and welcome everybody. Today's a special video. We just hit 300 subscribers. So I'm going to do what I do at every 100 subscribers and I'm going to show you the video analytics to my channel. Uh, the reason I do this is because I don't really see too many people on YouTube doing this, but also I want you to kind of have an idea of what it looks like backstage on YouTube and what I do to kind of uh, get my videos out there and how I analyze uh, well, how I look at and analyze the analytics. So let's go ahead and get started. So right here, you'll see this is the backstage menu under the analytics tab on YouTube, and you can learn more about your channel in this area here. So I'm gonna break down what goes on in the background. Again, I'm at 300 subscribers. It's actually at 307 today. And so I'm gonna show you a little bit about what goes on on my channel, what I keep an eye out for, and overall how the channel's doing. So let's go ahead and get started. So right here in the top left, you see this area right here says watch time, okay? This is how many uh, minutes the actual user is watching your videos. And so right now that's at 71,516, which is equal to 49 days and 15 hours. So that's a ton of time. So that's uh, something that I've been really, really impressed with so far. And it looks like, as you can see, since uh, about right here is when it started to take off a little bit, and then it stayed pretty stable on all of those days. Now, the reason that it jumps up and jumps down is because on the days that it jumps up, that's typically Monday or Sunday through Thursday, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it mostly has a dip. So uh, it appears that most people are viewing my videos on the weekdays. So let's go ahead and take a look at that watch time statistic, and that's right here. So here's watch time. And so you can see I've broken it down into seven day averages. That way we don't see as many uh, dips on the weekend or as many high points during the week. And you can see that right here around April 11th, we started to see a lot of growth in terms of watch time. Since that time, the growth hasn't been that high, but what actually happened to make that growth go higher? Well, I could break it down further by looking at a multi-line chart. And you can see here that actually, if it loads, you can see exactly what happened. So what happened was right here, this video, which is in the blue line, this video is the APA format video for Microsoft Word 2016. As that one started to take off, you'll notice that I'm getting a lot of watch time on this video in particular, over about 600 a day right now. And then you can see that also this red video right here, this is the XL MOS video. This one is actually also starting to get moving a little bit better right now, but currently I'm seeing a little bit of dip in this one. So what I did was uh, about a week ago, I redid the tags and descriptions in this in these two videos, which is pretty risky because it could just plummet. So I'm hopefully uh, not going to do that to myself, but those are the videos that are kind of carrying the channel right now. So if you're watching this channel, chances are you kind of found one of these two videos here because that's where most of the traffic is. All right. Now, um, a great way to check to see, uh, you know, is the channel actually improving or what's going on with the analytics is right here, which is called a comparison. And it basically compares it to the previous period. So I broke it down within 28 days. And you can see that the blue line is the last 28 days. The orange line is the is the 28 days before. So you can see that in most cases, it looks like the watch time went up, average view duration went down a little bit, views went up, and you could also see down here, likes, dislikes, all these different uh, kind of things that went up or down. So you can see I'm getting a, a bit more subscribers now, but my likes are down. So. Here we go, let's go ahead and uh, we looked at the watch time. Now let's look at this one right here, which is the av uh, average view duration. Now what the deal is with this one is this basically tracks the amount of time that uh, people are watching your videos. So if you make hour long videos, chances are you're gonna have very high watch time. Uh, vice versa, if you make videos that are about one minute long, obviously your watch time isn't going to be very long. My videos are ranging from five to ten minutes, so 313 is where it's currently at. And you can see that line kind of stabilizes over time because as you get more views, that line per day uh, goes to, uh, it starts to stabilize more because as you get a larger sample size, it'll actually uh, uh, 
get closer in terms of uh, the amount of time that you see. All right, so next we're gonna look at views right here. So you can see views, it looks a lot like the watch time chart. That's because as views go up, watch time also goes up. So the channel's at 22,000 views as of this day on analytics, which is uh, June 7th. But these analytics are a few days old, so it's probably around 23,000 right now. Um, but regardless, if you look at uh, views, which is uh, right here, Okay, you can see again, it's a chart that looks like this and you can also go to the multi-line chart and you can see I'm getting about 400 views a day right now. So that's looking pretty good. And then we see that if I go to the multi-line chart, what is bringing in these views? Again, the APA video and also the MOS word video. And you can see the rest of the videos are down here, but you can see definitely a majority of the uh, views are coming from these top two videos. Okay, so a lot of times on, on YouTube, you'll have a video that, uh, you know, gets bumped up and, you know, that video kind of carries your channel for a while. So again, my channel is really small, but it's good to see that a, a few videos are starting to kind of gain some traction. So that looks good. Uh, next right here, you'll notice this, that this says your estimated revenue is $0. Okay, that is because my channel, when you hit 10,000 views, you could actually monetize your channel. Um, I have 10,000 and I have it set up for monetization. However, I have not actually monetized any videos yet. Um, I am going to monetize videos, but only the videos that make it to 10,000 views and, uh, you know, they, they hit regularly. There's not really much point on me bombarding you guys with ads while you're trying to learn something. So typically I'm not going to do that. Uh, as of right now, my, ch my channel is completely ad free. So, um, as videos begin to hit that 10,000 view mark, you will see that that estimated revenue will go up. And I figure if I'm ever going to teach analytics one day, I might as well know about the monetization side as well. So uh, on the 400 subscriber channel, chances are this APA video will be above 10,000. So I will be monetizing that. All right. Now we see over here likes versus dislikes. I don't know how much of an effect this these statistics have on where your videos are placed, but 977 to 6, so that looks good. Comments, lots of comments come from live streams. That's why you see these spikes here. And so that's what those are. And then this next one is shares. Uh, I just wanted to let you all know that you guys can share my videos whenever you want. Um, but yeah, some people are sharing them. I don't really know where they're sharing them to or why they're sharing them, but um, yeah, it's the APA video and the XLMOS, those have the majority of the shares right there. So that's when somebody posts out your video and shares it. Um, other than that, this right here is subscribers. And so if you look back here, you can see subscribers. That's what I clicked on. And so right here are my subscribers. Now you see a lot are right here. Uh, that was when I, uh, I first had my semester. And so you'll see a lot right there. And then you'll see a lot right here. Now that was when uh, the spring semester. So this was intercession. This was spring. And now these ones here are very interesting because basically from 200 to 300 uh, subscribers, those were pretty much organic, meaning I didn't get those from my students. Uh, I didn't have any new classes start. So I would imagine that this rate is going to increase or stay the same uh, over summer, depending on how the traffic goes to my channel. Now, the other thing that's interesting is you could actually find where your subscribers are from. And so I did this on the 200 uh, subscribers video, but I wanted to show you uh, what this looks like again now. And so you can see most of my subscribers are from uh, United States. Uh, I have 264 from the United States, and you could also see how many you lose over here. And then uh, down here, we could see the rest of the countries that um, have a subscriber. So Canada, India, United Kingdom, so on and so forth. And you can see the rest of them here. For all of you that are subscribed, thank you so much. Uh, if you happen to be watching this video and you're not subscribed, uh, please do. And so, uh, yeah, that's what you could see here. You could actually see where they're from. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, looks like I have 25 different countries here and then let's see on this second page if I have anyone up here yeah so it looks like a, a few more so it's about uh, seven right there let's see seven six right there so about 31 different countries that's pretty exciting so there we go so yeah the uh, channel is obviously reaching some different areas and so that's what subscriber shows you down here shows you your most popular videos you could see that 28,000 minutes have been watched just on that APA video or 40%. So that's where most of these, uh, most of this watch time is coming in. 
And then finally, down here it shows you geographies, and so I broke that down as well. You can see that right here. Here's all of the different countries represented. And you can see most of the views come in from the United States. Uh, that's where I live. That's where uh, my classes are. So that would make sense. Um, and then also, we see all these other countries here. There's actually 162 different countries who have stumbled upon this channel. And it's, uh, you know, out of 22,000 views, that's, that's pretty crazy that that many people have uh, tuned into this channel. So there we go. Um, you could also break it down in the United States uh, by state and you could see what states are watching your video, which is uh, videos, which is uh, pretty exciting there. And so you could see right here, uh, United States, and then it'll pop up with a map and you could see, okay, most of my views are from California. Then it looks like Texas and Florida and you can see them listed here. So uh, thank you to everybody in the United States who are watching my videos as well. That's, uh, you know, I, I have uh, California here. That's, that's where I'm at, but everywhere else, I mean, you guys are watching a, a lot of the videos too. So thank you so much. All right, other than that, uh, let's see here. One thing I also wanted to show you, which is probably the most important thing, is traffic sources right here. If you look at your traffic sources, you could actually tell how people are getting to your channel. So I was always wondering at the beginning, why did I see that big jump on APA? Well, the answer was this blue line right here is actually your suggested videos. So when my videos pop up on other people's videos along that sidebar on the right side, you could actually uh, see that's what a suggested video is. Next, YouTube search is the red line. And then finally, the green line is external, mean, meaning like Google searches and things along that nature. So you can see those lines are for the most part growing, but the more these grow, the more your channel will grow. So hopefully this uh, this will kind of help you out, help you on figuring out um, how to increase views on a channel. All right. Finally, I want to show you the videos. Uh, this APA video again is the most popular video. You can see that uh, right here it has about 8,500 views, and then you have the icon for monetization, and also if the video is public, private. And you can also look at comments, likes, and dislikes right there. So that's what your videos show you. Uh, you can see after APA, the big drop down to 2,000 for MOS, and then below that, 600, 500. So you can see that all the way back to my early videos, which probably have, uh, you know, less than 100 views. So a lot of my views go towards um, this APA video right here. Finally, uh, this is called real time right here, and this shows you uh, how many people are watching your videos in real time over a 48 hour period. And you can see here, uh, looks like that number is 880 over the uh, 48 hour period. Now keep in mind these numbers here are a little bit skewed because I was just live streaming, so it's gonna be more. Um, but you could actually see what videos are being uh, looked at um, you know, the most. So that way you can kind of tweak those tags and tweak those uh, descriptions and see if you can increase those numbers. So uh, that is a quick overview on my uh, analytics here. So there we go. And uh, other than that, thank you so much for watching. If you're still watching this video, please give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope this video was helpful for you. Uh, if you think I missed something or you're interested to uh, know kind of how the, you know, maybe something else on the channel works or a sp particular statistic, please put it in the comment section. I'll be happy to include that on the next uh, video. So to the 300 of you that have subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate it and you have a great rest of your day.